Michelle Melby, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Powell, and Fox 11 Sports Director Drew Smith. Part of U.S. Highway 41 is set to become an interstate. The change is expected to happen in 2014. The proposed stretch is from near Milwaukee's airport at what's known as the Mitchell Interchange to the I-43 interchange in the Green Bay area in Howard. But many businesses are hoping that weight limits on the new interstate won't be reduced. Fox 11's Chad Doran explains. Heavy truck traffic is a common sight on Highway 41. My operation, we move about 650 loads a year down 41. Come 2014, Highway 41 becomes an interstate, meaning some heavy trucks may have to find a new route to drive. That is, unless legislation by Senator Herb Cole and Representative Tom Petri changes the weight restrictions. It's really important to get, to get done because the commerce of this area depends on use of the highway. Federal laws don't allow trucks over 80,000 pounds on interstate highways, making this legislation important for many trucking companies in northeast Wisconsin. The legislation will grant a permanent waiver of the interstate weight limit to commodities already being moved throughout the state. Wisconsin currently allows trucking companies to exceed the 80,000 pound weight limit on state roads by permit or state statutes. It will not allow additional weight on the highways. It will not authorize new configuration of trucks and it will not increase road damage. It is also not a done deal just yet. It's, it's possible to do it. We have done it in the past. I'm confident that we will do it uh, sooner or later here uh, for uh, uh, the, the 41 conversion. Burmeister says his trucks routinely carry loads of up to 96,000 pounds by permit. He says without the exemption, they'll have to haul more loads, more miles, meaning less money for their business. It increased our truck expenses by 20 percent and our loads by about 20 percent. So it, it's profit margins are not that big that we can absorb that. An important change to keep business rolling along. In Oshkosh, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Once 41 is officially designated an interstate, the state will still have 25 years to get the entire stretch from Green Bay to Milwaukee up to federal interstate standards. Changes can include widening the lanes and the shoulders, and installing guardrails, and upgrading the on and off ramps. Well, and once the road is designated an interstate highway, what number is it going to be? Yeah, it's not exactly the easiest question. The DOT says there are several options on the table. A spokesperson says naming the roadway Interstate 41 is unlikely. The DOT wants to avoid confusion since parts of 41 will remain a U.S. highway. Some other numbers we're looking at are three-digit numbers, which would be a loop of Highway 43 or a spur from highway 94 and so we're looking at, at all of those different numbers and the opportunities. Public input sessions on the interstate designation will be held in the coming weeks. Officials say they hope to start putting up the new signage by the summer of 2014.